Here we have a juvenile snapping turtle which I rescued from my yard a few years back when he was about the size of a quarter. Now he is gotten about big enough to release. Uh, he's been raised on various scraps and whatnot. I've been trying to keep him from getting used to the idea of being a hand fed turtle. And today I found in my yard a bit of one of his food items crawling around in the grass and uh, I decided I will give him some experience with a fellow predator which he often runs across and will once he gets down in my pond and I'm fixing to dump the fellow predator in and there we have it we have the fellow predator crawdad Turtle sees Crawdad. Crawdad is like, what? And now the fight is on. And I am very certain that my turtle will make short work of El Crawdad. And he might get pinched a few times, might even get a toe nipped. However, this is excellent training for turtle to figure out how do I handle these kind of critters because these crawdads do get a lot bigger this is just a medium crawdad at best junior medium and as we can see crawdad is a turtle did the right thing snatched by the tail and let me tell you when I eat crawdads that's the only part I want I do not suck heads I'll leave that for the Louisianans. I like my meat clean. But as we see, the turtle is uh, fatally wounded, the crawdad at least. And he's getting a bit of his more natural diet. Uh, it's like last night he got some scraps off of a raw steak. Now he's had worms and various bugs and critters like that I've gathered from outside. Uh, he really likes the uh, roly-poly bugs. But uh, <clears throat> this is his first experience with something that can uh, truly fight back a little bit. It's got a little bit of sting to it, so to speak, with those little claws. And me, well, I'm curious as to will he eat all of the crawdad. Um, he is definitely now has the crawdad by the thorax instead of the abdomen. And he is, I guess he's going for, this was the struggle hold that like a leopard would put on a, a gazelle, but uh, he can't strangle a crawdad. I don't think. And Crawdad is still fighting back. Oh, we see the technique is uh, start at the tail and munch your way forward. Crawdad is in death spasms, as best I can tell. Crawdad is not happy. Turtle is wondering what the hell is that floating above my pen? And what was I busy wor working on that was so tasty? There it is. Give himself a little breath of air after the long battle, I guess. Of course, the big question to me is, is Crawdad still alive? He's got, Crawdad's got his claws wide open. Turtle's busy staring at the camera. Wouldn't be a bit surprised he'd decide to lunge at the camera. Uh, being of the snapping turtle family, I can tell you from experience, these guys will snap at any and everything that moves in their environment. Oh, they don't care. What can I say? Turtles are not the brightest critters in the world. Uh, see, we got a piece of the tail down there on the floor. 
turtle I think is way too interested in, in, in the uh, photography not paying near enough attention to that food though I wouldn't be a bit surprised if uh, turtles probably feeling a bit full because that steak was last night typically I mean these guys are notorious for being overweight in captivity they, they, every turtle in captivity tends to get fat and this guy's no exception no, we, it looks upside down, but hey, I'm shooting straight down, you know. So there is no upside down. We're just looking straight down. I can reorientate the camera a bit. The turtle doesn't think, oh, let me attack that. I have my paw on my kill. <laughs> the old lion, lion pose. My paw is on my kill. I have gathered my kill. It is for me to eat. I challenge all others, including my reflection in the camera lens. It's uh, interesting to see the behaviors. Hoping he don't get his butt poked in the eye, but I'm assuming a uh, turtle is probably smart enough. And I am thinking that our crawdad is probably dead enough. I don't see any motion by the pinchers now. Uh, the only motion I see is, oh yeah, he's like, ooh, the good meat. Yeah, I agree, that white meat, that's the good meat. You wanna eat? It's the meat to eat. Hell with that sucking all that green crap out their heads. I know what that green crap is. Oh yeah, he says this is nice and tasty. And looking at that tail segment over there, it looked like he pretty much squeezed most of the meat out of that too. Oh, he going, rip the limbs off, spit them out. This is all operating by pure instinct as far as this turtle is concerned because he has never ever met one of these critters in his life. His very first crawl dad. And like I said, he ate 12 hours ago and typically I don't feed this guy but once every 7 to 10 days at the most. One good feeding and that's it. And even then, he's got some weight concerns. But I'd rather have him a bit fat when he goes out to live in the pond, which is not too far along. I want to set up a uh, in-pond cage, so to speak, and it's got to have levels because he's got a real long neck, like most snappers. <clears throat> and I won't say he will drown if he gets in deep water but he don't like being in deep water he likes being in as deep as his neck is long so if you're ever looking for snappers just remember that you need to look they like to lurk where they can just run their head up and stick their nose out of the water that's, that's the depth that a snapper will reside, the length of his neck from, from stem to, to the tip of his nose. That's as deep as he wants to go. They like to lay on the bottom and wait for fish or something to come by. And they'll just lay there and whenever they need that air, they run their head up to the length of their neck, get a little breath of air. All we see from the top is the very tippy tip of his nose maybe part of his head before he'll decide you know he'll pull his head back down under and he'll sit and he will wait now this guy my daughter calls him long neck uh, because he's uh, got such a long neck but that's any snapper this by the way once again alligator snapper 
Um, you can't really see him well in the water, but he's got little bony spines coming out of his tail and, and forming up along the crest of his shell. Or her shell. I don't know. Male or female, like I said, found it as a baby. Very, very small newborn out in the yard where I've yet to figure out how this turtle got where it was at. And being as it's the turtle's natural food, he seems to be enjoying it. My pet name for this turtle, by the way, is Gamera, after the Japanese flying turtle. <laughs> Spinning while it flies. I, I never understood why Gamera wasn't just drunk, dizzy, totally out of it, throwing up whenever he landed. As I would have been spinning through the air like that. But this guy, when he gets full or he's aggressive, he'll stand up on all four of his legs as high as he can go. And he puts on that Gamera pose straight out of the Japanese Hollywood horror films. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's, I'm guessing four and a half now, right near four and a half years. It takes a while for them to get this size. They are slow growing. Uh, once it, he'll, he'll, about another five or six years, he might be up to getting towards dinner plate size, small dinner plate, maybe cake plate. Uh, I've seen some with 24 to 30 inch long shells. You're looking at the true old monsters. I call them dinosaurs. Because uh, they, they truly are a, a dinosaur, left over from the dinosaur age. The, when these guys get huge, they get my, I've got a lot of respect for the big ones because they've got a head as big as both my fists. And when they chomp their jaws, it sound like horse hooves on a paved highway or hooves on cobblestone. They can chomp that hard. They are one heck of a... Heck of a survivor, and while it is not recommended to keep these as pets, and no, he is not a pet, he is a rescue animal, uh, doomed or destined, however you want to look at it, to going out to the ponds. When he gets large enough that a raccoon or something like that can't snatch him up and have him for a handy snack. At his current size, he's just about past handy snack size for some critter. He's almost there. And I'm hoping that this fall or winter, or maybe come spring, get him out of here. Because I don't, I, I mean, they're tough. These guys can handle dirty, nasty water, and it's a dirty, nasty turtle. They're, they don't eat clean. They spit and spew all over the place. They leave body parts. Uh, man, I put a worm in there and you'll see black dirt and gut and everything flying out of his mouth. Uh, these are gobblers. They don't really chew so much as try to swallow everything whole. But due to their jaw strength, uh, you know, even something with a hard carapace like that, uh, crawdad or crayfish, whatever you want to call it, depending on what region you're from. Mud bug, if you're down in Louisiana. Uh, you know, he's got enough jaw pressure, he managed to snap through that. He chopped that thorax, which was fairly hard. And of course, I'm going to let him, i hoping he gobbles down every bite because I, in my philosophy of things, the hard thorax of the crawdad will help build his tur the turtle shell. Though for calcium needs, I also give him little pieces of cheese every once in a while, which he seems to particularly enjoy. He treats cheese about like meat. Favorite food so far for the turtle seems to be raw chicken. But he will do strawberries and blackberries. He just got to be hungry to really go after the greens and, and such. 
And that's because, and I didn't know it at the time, but these guys can get imprinted very young on a food type. And in this case, his food type is uh, heavy on the meats, light on the greens. So he's he's got a real appetite for anything that's meat. And like a bad child, he don't want to eat his greens. But uh, what I do is, oh, he's been fed way too well the past couple days. So he's got a, at least a seven day, probably a ten day stretch of next to nothing. You know, a few odd bits keep his stomach expanded, but not a whole lot. There's a this guy literally eats so much sometimes that he cannot pull his little arms in his shell. He, everything just be poking out like an overstuffed ping pong ball. And because he does have a flexible uh, plastron, that is the lower belly shell, there's times he's ate so much he can't hardly put his feet on the ground for how much his, his stomach's swollen up. And you can just forget pulling that head in which these guys can't really pull their heads and tails and arms all the way in anyway uh, even when they're normal weight they aren't one of those uh, they don't have the trap door front like a box turtle where they can lock themselves in there for it but uh, and he's doing his little gamma pose right now I'd shoot through the side of this aquarium except that uh, it's got the typical uh, cheap plastic aquarium bullshit going on, a little algae on the side, scratches and mars. Probably won't get a good shot, but I'll give it a give it a shot, give it a try as I wrap this thing up. See if we can't get some idea. Like I say, this aquarium is not the best to be trying to see through. No. It looks pretty crappy to me. If it looks that crappy to me, it looks that crappy to you. Well, these are pretty awesome turtle. These are considered a species of concern now because all the farmers down south Georgia and whatnot are selling them off to the Chinese and give you about $35 a pop on a dinner plate size. And as, as usual, the damn Chinese are eating every damn thing up that normal people don't want to touch. I mean, turtle meat's fine, it's good, make good turtle stew, but once they get a little bit threatened, you need to leave them the hell alone and let them recover their species. However, I don't hold much hope. The only thing saving these guys is their aggressiveness and their ugliness. He is not a pretty turtle. And he is a very, very, very mean, nasty-tempered guy. He just likes to eat everything. At least put it in his mouth and see what it tastes like, it seems like. Alright, that's enough for this little flick. Anybody has seen Gumara? The overly aggressive mean turtle. Still snacking on his his little victim's parts, spitting them out. There you go. That's the way you treat your enemy. You know, gobble them up and spit out like crap you don't like. I would not be a bit surprised. Old turtle decided he just want to snap me up one day too. Now that's all, folks. Hope you enjoyed this uh, semi-educational footage. Don't always see this kind of thing. And y'all have fun now. You hear? Bye.